Hello gorgeous people who love the scraps. I'm from Australia. I have a beautiful racket to share with you all. And this is from a fellow um, crafter here on YouTube also uh, by the name of a lovely lady called Louisa. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a bit croaky today. And Louisa's uh, <clears throat> uh, YouTube channel is all about craft. She doesn't do any videos at the moment, but... Um, just drop by and say hello to this wonderful lady who's you know gives with her heart and um, I'm so looking forward to this package and um, thank you for sending this gorgeous rack my way and um, if you guys remember Louisa she sent an uh, awesome amazing uh, rack to um, Jana who's Scrappy Happy XO also here on YouTube and I, when I watched her vid, I was like drooling everywhere pretty much. <laughs> it was amazing. So here we go. Let's have a look at um, the package and see what uh, Louisa has sent me and shared with me also. Thank you so much, Louisa. It really means a lot to me, you um, thinking of me and wanting to send me some handmade flowers also, as well as um, a few other gifts I can see here because it's a huge, huge box. and. Um, I'm looking forward to all your wonderful flowers that you have in here for me. And here we have a little note card. It says um, postcard on the front here and it's so beautiful. I can always reuse that. Um, it's got a beautiful little girl image with a flower and some birds in the background. Um, just a little message. She just mentioned... Um, Oh, thank you. She's thanking me for um, all my inspirations also and um, and she's saying that she's not well. So I do hope you are getting better soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I don't mind this package take, like packages taking long at all whatsoever. Take your time with your packages. I don't mind. But I really appreciate you, you know, taking your time to send this package my way also. And I do hope you feel better soon. Mwah, big kisses and hugs to you and make some time for rest. Um, now let's go have a look. So even though you're sick, you know, you found the time to uh, package everything so well and everything that, you know, that somebody has put a lot of thought into it just means a lot to me. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart, Louisa. You are an angel and we have lots of angels looking after us and you're one of my angels. So thank you so much. So let's dig in. Oh, look at the presentation of this box. I just can't believe it. Louisa does the most wonderful, wonderful, wonderful packaging and oh, hopefully I'll be the envy of many, many crafters here. Like I was so envious of um, Janet where she was uh, sharing her video. I was like drooling all over and go, oh my god, so super lucky. Well, my turn's come and I'm being spoiled by Louisa today. So thank you so much, Louisa. It really means a lot to me. So her packaging is just wonderful. Look at all that. So vintage. It's so beautiful. And she also shared with me some paper bags. So these paper bags. I haven't, I haven't had any like glassine bags before, so I'm not sure exactly what they are like, but I think these are paper bags. And look at her packaging. Isn't that just, just amazing? I'm going to keep everything as is, Louise. I'm not going to unravel or unwrap everything. I'm just going <laughs> to keep them as is. They're just so beautiful. Look at that. There's some nice thin um, paper bags that you can, you know, alter. Or just put whatever goodies in, incorporate it into mini albums, even make mini albums from them also. And you shared with me so many. So thank you so much. And look at that. Look at the presentation. Isn't that just beautiful? Thank you. So no particular order. We're just going to start from the top. Oh, Sorry about the glare in the window. It's early morning yet. And we have beautiful sunshine coming in. Turn this way maybe. Here we go. It's a beautiful altered bag that she stamped. And she's used vintage doilies at the top here and made this beautiful, beautiful flower. So thank you so much. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you, Louisa, for taking the time to alter these beautiful bags. It's just gorgeous. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Oh, wow. So beautiful. She shared with me some wedding appliques. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And the presentation of her packaging is just divine. So here we have some beautiful wedding appliques that she shared with her and she's backed it on, on um, dictionary paper and it looks so vintage. Thank you so much Louisa, it's so beautiful. It's got 
the uh, <coughs> iridescent like um, sequins as well as pearls thank you so much it's so beautiful and some white seam binding in here also there we go seam binding is so lovely uh, seam binding for you to dye any color you like thank you so much I love white seam binding I always stock up on white seam binding so that I can just spray whatever color I want to incorporate into my projects that's the best way um, instead of buying like a hundred rolls of seam binding in the colors you want because they're pretty expensive also um, just buy like white seam binding and then just buy Lindy stamp gang colors and then you can just spray them with whatever um, it's so beautiful thank you so much and here we have some beautifully packed ribbons here also oh thank you so so much I feel really really bad you know at the same time as happy because you mentioned you were sick and yet you have you know taken the time to go and wrap these all individually so thank you thank you so so much Louisa for taking your time and thinking of me like I mentioned I'm gonna thank you a thousand times because it really really means a lot the amount of time and effort you put into wrapping or presentation of your packaging is just so beautiful these are just gorgeous thank you I'm just gonna have a little basket that I'm just gonna display all your beautiful packaging in um, make it a little special box or something it's just made for Louisa here we go um, this is stamped with um, I'm sure that's a Kaiser Craft um, Lake House stamp that's just just beautiful and she stamped it with another um, maybe a background stamp there with some um, flowers so beautiful thank you so much Louisa and look at this the presentation like I mentioned and the time and effort that Louisa puts into here is just beautiful gorgeous Louisa just gorgeous very vintage love this style oh here we go oh beautiful handmade flowers by Louisa yay oh I uh, don't really want to take it out, but I do want to share with you guys the talent that this lady has. It's just amazing. You really, really should do some videos like Janet mentioned, because you are so talented. Look at that. Look at the lace that's on that flower. Oh, sorry. Being off frame there. It's a beautiful um, light latte mocha sort of color with um, vintage doilies on top and a beautiful bling center there. That's got to be saved for a special, special project. Thank you so much, Louisa. That is just beautiful. Look at all the layers. Look at the layers and layers. So she burnt the edges of this particular satin and then just laid all the different layers on there. Very dimensional. So beautiful. Thank you, Louisa. Thank you so much. Pop that back. And here we have some little ones here also. Sorry about them crinkle. If some of you don't like the crinkle, have to bear with me. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Look at that one. It's like a um, a yo-yo type flower. The basis of that one, or no, it's very similar to a yo-yo. It's one of the ones that you um, gather also. Two re two fabrics, and then a beautiful doily, and then look beautiful center there. Oh, your flowers are so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, and look at this one. Look at that. It's very vintage looking. So, so beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it so much, Louisa. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to pop that down. Thank you, Louisa. Oh, show you the box again. Sorry to make you guys dizzy. Look at the presentation of the box. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Louisa. Pop you guys back in this corner where there's no glare. Oh my goodness, don't know where to start. Oh, look at that one. It's another beautiful altered bag. Um, she's used some vintage, I would say, what is it? Dictionary paper at the back and then this cut out um, or a sticker. It's like um, acetate sticker that's been stamped. It's so beautiful. And look at the flower things on that. Look the flower embellishment and the arrangement. Oh, it's just beautiful, Louisa. Thank you so much. That is just gorgeous. I have to try and remember where everything goes so I can package everything back the way that you have and pop them all into a beautiful box. She shares some laces with me that she's wrapped with some um, dictionary paper again and beautiful soft pastel colors and vintage tones. So gorgeous. Thank you, Louisa. 
Oh, I love these colors. Very vintage. And I'll just leave them all in here, but you guys can see how beautiful they are. I don't even want to open them. <laughs> They're just too beautiful. Her, her presentation is just outstanding. If there was an award for presentation, you would definitely win it. You have my number one vote. These are like um, peachy pink tones that I love, love, love. And flesh colours. And that's a more like a flesh colour, peachy pink, these two. Thank you so much, Louisa. And some beautiful, beautiful fibres. I love fibres to death. I incorporate them a lot into my shabby chic projects now. Um, in my flowers and stuff. And I don't particularly have that colour because it's got multi-tone colours in there. And I don't have pink either. So that is just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Louisa. Really means a lot to me, you sharing all these wonderful goodies with me. Just going to pop that back. Everything is just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Louisa. You're going to make me the envy of many, many girls. Oh, another beautiful altered paper bag. Look at that. It's very rustic looking. Very shabby and rustic at the same time. Oh, so simple yet so so elegant and so gorgeous. Thank you so much. And the contrast of the um, craft bags as well as the... Oh, is it handmade? Did you make these little flowers here? And the twine. And here she rolled some um, dressmaker papers. Um, paper and twisted around and added across here. Isn't that just magnificent? That alone is already beautiful. Thank you so much, Louisa. Presentation is just, just wonderful. <gasps> oh, some bling. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Louisa. There's some gorgeous pillow boxes here that she's put. Oh, magnificent trinkets and doodads in there. Oh, let me open them up so you guys can see. Oh, wow. I've just noticed something that is just gorgeous. Not that all of these are not gorgeous, but <gasps> I love this. I just dropped something. Look at this. Oh, sorry, guys. Out of frame again. Look how beautiful is that. That is my favorite color, guys. <laughs> it's peachy pink with, with like um, a rose colored gold. And it's got a beautiful peachy pink rose here. That is just beautiful. You can't really see the color of the bling in here, but it's a beautiful peachy pink color. That is just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Louisa. And this is some, some um, little connectors, I think, that you can use for your beads and crafting projects. It's so gorgeous. There's those two there. And then there's some pearls and some bubbles and some little um, charm assemblies that she's already put together for me. Oh, thank you so much. What a shortcut. <laughs> I don't have to assemble anything at all. She's done the hard work for me. So thank you so much. Little bobbles here. Oh, look at that teeny tiny one. That is just beautiful. Thank you so much, Louisa, for taking the time and effort to pack this little gorgeous package for me. Oh, isn't that just stinky cute? We don't find anything like this here at all where I am. That's just beautiful. And look at this dangle. Thank you so, so much. And a cabajon. Beautiful cabajon flower. And look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. So dainty and so beautiful. Thank you so much, Louisa. Just means so much to me. You're taking the time and effort. Pop everything back in here. It's just so beautiful. I've got some pillow boxes that I've purchased from Kmart that I haven't yet play with them either so thank you so much for the inspiration your packaging uh, and your presentation is inspirational to me because you know it's just just gorgeous so simple yet so so beautiful so um i won't open this one up because she packaged it really really well i'm just going to keep it as is but in here there's beads and pearls and bobbles and coins and Oh, beautiful um, butterfly embellishment there and more pearls and whatnots in there thank you so so much thank you Louisa that is just beautiful thank you pop that there wow and look at this one your stamps are amazing I don't I haven't been doing a lot of stamping lately um, but I love the stamps that you've incorporated here you have to uh, 
personal message me and PM me and see which stamps these are because I love the bike. It's so beautiful. For that one, she's used the white bag so she shared with me also. And then she stamped it with birds and a bicycle. And beautiful soft colours here. We'll open that one up. Oh, some more handmade flowers. Oh, wonderful. Just superb. Look at this beautiful flower. Isn't that just gorgeous? The tones are so beautiful. And she's taken a lot of time making these also. Because I can tell by the, the layers. All the layers are just gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. And these are so my colours. I love the flesh, the nudes, all the peachy pinks and all the creams. Really girly and feminine. Thank you so much. That is just so beautiful. And she's incorporated the fibre into here also. And uh, I'm not sure, but it might be the same fibre that she shared with me. And look at all the different layers. So gorgeous. Thank you so much, Louisa. That is just beautiful. And the presentation of these bags. Absolutely stunning, 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 stunning. Is that one? Oop. Hopefully I don't take too long recording this because there's oh, a whole heap to go through. Vintage doilies that she shared. So beautiful in all different sizes also. Thank you so much, Louisa. And look at these ones. Beautiful, beautiful handmade flowers. Just absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Louisa. A thousand thank yous. Oh, they're just absolutely gorgeous. You are spoiling me here. How can I ever repay you for this? Oh my goodness, the amount of time and effort that you have put into here. It has been forever. Look at this. This beautiful, beautiful bag. Stamped with dress forms, birdies and fleur de lis. Oh, and up here she's got some white doilies and a beautiful rose that so just blends in. So beautiful. Let's have a look at what's in this bag. Wow, some napkins. Napkins are very expensive here um, in Taz. Um, I've seen some really nice um, quality ones and they're like $10 a packet. Really expensive. Um, so I haven't bought any of those ones yet. And the cheaper ones, they have really yucky prints and they're about 2 $3, but they have really yucky prints. They're not nice at all. With this beautiful rose one, there's two of those. Thank you so much. It's so shabby. It matches my flowers in the background. So gorgeous. And there's this beautiful... Hi guys, back again. Sorry about that. Uh, ran out of memory. I had recorded the package this morning and now it's late afternoon. I went to the farm today, so... I've just come back and I'm going to finish recording the rest of all the yummy goodies here that Louisa has um, sent to me. And look at this. Isn't this just so beautiful? This is just exquisite. I'm just going to frame these, I think, or put it on a beautiful altered box or something. Oh, this colour rose in the background is like a beautiful soft pink colour. And this oh, image of this rose is just beautiful. And there's like four on each one. So, whoo! I have plenty here to um, use for some special, special projects. So thank you so much, Louisa. And the other ones that she sent. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that just adorable? It's like a beautiful cottage house with some sunflowers and beautiful garden. It has this like vintage like little girl there and a cat. And two of those also. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. And then we have a lovely, beautiful damask pattern one. Thank you so much. Damask is beautiful. I love black and white damask. Thank you so much, Louisa. You shared so many goodies with me. I'll pop them back here. Okay, let's go to the next bag. Look at all the beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. That is just beautiful. She um, whitewashed the bag and then she stamped it uh, in like a chocolate colored um, stamp color. The only two stamping inks I have is just black and the other one is sapia. But I'm, I like this, um, like a chocolate coloured ink too. It's really, really pretty. Oh, it's a nice size bag too. Quite sturdy. Beautiful button, some twine and then some crochet lace. Let's have a look what's in here. 
Wow, some beautiful fabric. And oh, you know me so, so well, Louisa. These colors are just gorgeous. Sorry about that, just had to zoom in. Oh, Louisa, you know my taste. Oh, you know my colors. These are just so, so far. I love the flesh, the peachy pink, the baby pink. The, um, the cream color as well as the like the latte sort of color all oh, these color combos are just just divine oh you know oh it's just like you've known me forever <laughs> Louisa oh, I've only uh, Louisa, um, messaged Louisa a couple of times and I think vice versa also regarding the package that Louisa, Louisa was going to share to me but apart from that I hardly know Louisa and you know for her to think of me and then you know be able to match up colors that I just love and it's just so beautiful I love these oh I'm not gonna take them apart and this I'm like really beautiful pink muslin here um, oh really thin cotton like I love this kind of flower they make the most beautiful shabby chic flowers and she stamped it with um, like some bee stamps um, there's a little bird cage there and some script there. That is so beautiful. I'm going to scrap lift that because I love that so, so much. That is just gorgeous. I'm not going to open these because, oh, it's so beautiful. Do you like fabric like me too? I'm, I'm a, like a fabric lover. <laughs> if, there's a, if there's such a word for a fabric, fabricaholic, if you know what I mean, like people who love fabric and, oh, these are just so beautiful. They're beautiful. They have like a, a gold shine to it also. That does, it's not showing on the camera, but it's got a beautiful gold threading through the fabric. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, and these are just it's just so divine. I'm just going to leave everything the way that you have left. And I love love your packaging. Love everything. You're just so you've been super, super generous. Thank you so much, Louisa. Oh, a little bit there. Pop that aside here. And we've still got a couple more boxes to go. There's this beautiful... Oh, I don't even want to touch it. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, some beautiful satin ribbon that she's lined here. And then some oh, more dictionary paper. And then a beautiful... Did you dye that? Or did you get the, um, the hessian or the burlap in that colour? Because the only colour that I can find is just like the natural colour. A really light cream color um i think they're the only two colors that i can find but if if you can get this color i would love to have some of that color that is just beautiful or did you ink that that is gorgeous so let me slip this off i'm just gonna slip it back on <laughs> so beautiful just love your packaging let's see what's in here she wrapped it with um dressmaker's pattern down wow some more gorgeous fabric here we have some beautiful lace oh it's gorgeous I love lace these are beautiful to line like your fabric journals and um, your mini albums and you know whatnot older projects that is gorgeous that's like an ivory color and then we have some eyelet like fabric it is beautiful Oh, yay! You shared some of this with me, Louisa. This is gorgeous fabric. You have to let me know what this is called. I might get you to buy me some more of this because I love this. And this this colour is just so beautiful. It's not coming up on um, screen, but it's like on the screen, but it's like a baby pink colour. You guys can see the difference there. It's actually a lot nicer than what's coming up in the camera there, but... um. Hopefully you guys can see the colour of this. It's just, just gorgeous. And she used this on um, something else that I was talking about before. It's just so beautiful. And then there's a white one here also. It's so lovely. It's almost muslin-like. But it's got colour to it. And it's got um, the, um, the threading. It's thicker than muslin. It's just, just so gorgeous. It might be another type of muslin. Wow, we have like coffee, coffee latte, sort of like tea dyed lace. It's so beautiful. And some soft, um, what do you call this? Um, tool. Tool or tool? Really beautiful in a coordinating color also. Oh, just beautiful. Thank you so, 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 so much. I love these. Thank you. They are just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and put them back. 
the way you had it because I love your presentation. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Louisa. You being unwell and then taking your time to do all these little special gifts for me. It just means the world to me. And then we have some beautiful paper roses or paper flowers that um did you make these flowers? Let's have a look. Look at this little packaging, it's just so beautiful. Crochet flower with some fabric petals in there, and then look at that. Beautiful, beautiful center. I'm gonna scrap lift that too, because that is gorgeous, the center of that. Um, use some wire and then just uh, did some beading different cut type of beading and then just looped it around and just hop with that in the center that is really really beautiful sorry about the glare in the background there that is gorgeous thank you for your inspiration there also that is beautiful love that so much did you make these Louisa they are just so beautiful I love these kind of flowers because they're like um, tattered really distressed looking already Oh, it is beautiful. Did you make these? I really, really want to know because they are just so gorgeous. It looks like um, she used this. If you did make these, let me guess, you used the, um, the fabric, like the muslin fabric that I was referring to before. You must have cut it out of the Tim Holtz um, tattered florals dye. And then... Um, did you paint over the fabric? I'm not sure because it's really coarse. So you must have used something to um, paint it. Let me try and think. It's been a while since I've made flowers. Mod Podge maybe? Or you use something to make it stiff and then you can crinkle it up more. That is just so beautiful. It's really shabby, really distressed looking. Imagine a bit of white acrylic paint on that to shabby it a bit up. Oh, that is just beautiful. I love, 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 love these. And it's a beautiful um, dusty rose colour. And this is like a two-tone. Oh, Louisa, this is just, just divine. That is just gorgeous. It's a two-tone tea dye as well as a mixture of the pinks together. Oh, just beautiful. If you did make these, please, please, please do some vids and do a tutorial. Because I would love to know how you got it. This is sort of like... Um, texture. I have made some flowers in the past using a tutorial by, by Sarah Crafters and it was burlap and I think she did paint them in like acrylic paint so I'm not sure if you had paint this in acrylic paint or not but it's just so beautiful and it's, it came up really well and look at the color soft baby pink color and this is like a beautiful tea dye color oh I love these flowers so much Louisa Oh, they're better than Prima. <laughs> I'm serious. They are so much more beautiful than Prima. Well, the ones that they carry here in the shops. They're so expensive. And that's why most times I make my own embellishments. Because Prima in Australia retails at about like $8 for a packet. It's, it's too expensive. You can't afford it. Oh, but these are so beautiful. And if you made these, please let me know. If you don't want to do any vids on YouTube, do a vid for VAR and share it with VAR. Because it's just so beautiful. But I'm sure heaps of other people will want to know how you make these flowers also. If you did make these, they are just, oh, just absolutely divine. I love, love, love these. Aren't they beautiful, ladies? They're so gorgeous. Very tattered, very shabby. Like, me, like I mentioned, with a bit of acrylic paint on top just to shabby it even more up. It's just so beautiful. Thank you, Louisa. I love these flowers so much. And this little container you put in. It's just beautiful also. I'm going to pop that back in there. We have two more um, packages to share. Look at the presentation. It's just so beautiful, Louisa. I'm going to keep repeating myself because it is. I don't even want to touch it. It's just too gorgeous. I'm going to do it as carefully as I can. Because then I can roll it back up the way you had it. <laughs> Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Here we go. Open this way up. Okay, let's have a look at what's in here. There we go. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. A little message here. Um, this art dress was inspired by Janet Scrappy Happy XO using her tutorial for the, body, for the bodies and my own dressmaking skills for the dress. Could you please give her a shout out? Oh, thank you so much, Louisa. 
Oh, Louisa made me like um, a dress form or oh, art dress that was inspired by Janet's Scrappy Happy XO. Oh, Janet has an awesome tutorial on how to make um, uh, altered art dresses and miniature dress forms. It's just so super awesome. I'll pop the link down below to her tutorial also if you guys want to go and check her out. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. How beautiful is that? That is, the, I'm sure that is the back of it because that, that can't be the bus, can it? Like the front. That's definitely the back. Oh, how exquisite is this? Oh my goodness. I need a doll. <laughs> I need a Barbie doll to fit this. <laughs> my daughter's only got Bratz dolls. She doesn't have Barbie dolls. She doesn't like Barbie dolls. Let me zoom out.